The Palestinian national team is two weeks away from their opening game at the 2023 Asian Cup in Qatar as the brutal war rages on in their homeland. Israel has announced that thousands of troops will be pulled back out of Gaza. And finally, Qatar has welcomed 4 million visitors in 2023, the highest number of visitors to the Gulf state in the last five years. Hi, this is Ali, this is The Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Two weeks ahead of Palestine's kickoff in Doha for the opening game of the 2023 Asian Cup, the national team is struggling to focus as war continues to rage on in Gaza, where nearly 22,000 have been killed by Israeli bombardment. Some members of the squad have lost loved ones in the besieged strip, with team coach Makram Daboub stating that his squad is always glued to the news before and after training in their base in Saudi Arabia. Daboub added that the players have a constant feeling of anxiety for their families. Palestine qualified for the 2023 AFC Asian Cup in June last year, making this a third time in their history. On that note, the Israeli military have announced that thousands of their troops will be pulled out of the Gaza Strip to shift to more targeted operations, but toppling Hamas remained an objective of the offensive. Some of the brigades withdrawn could reportedly be preparing for a potential second front against Hezbollah in Lebanon. The shift appears to correspond to pressure from Israel's top ally, the United States, but Netanyahu has vowed to press ahead with a military offensive until all Israeli hostages are freed. And finally, 2023 was the year that saw Qatar cross the 4 million visitor mark, exceeding the the annual visitor numbers of the past five years. This includes a higher overturn than 2022, where the Gulf state hosted the first ever Arab version of the FIFA World Cup. The latest numbers were announced by Qatar Tourism, highlighting the positive momentum of the World Cup and the country's ongoing initiatives to promote its tourism sector. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.